Welcome back everyone. Here at Smart Finance, we're all about finding excess returns in the market and growing our wealth. Since time is money, I'll get right into it. In the last week, we've seen a significant pullback from the all-time highs across a variety of different indices, particularly in the NASDAQ. Some of the biggest drops have come in growth stocks like Tesla, Plug, Virgin Galactic, and others. In this video, I'm going to give you everything you need to know about this pullback and the reasons behind it, all in about five minutes. Make sure to drop an early like to help with the algorithm. Let's get right into it. I'll start with the most talked about and most important factor involved, inflation fears. What we've seen in the last few months is the gradual recovery of commodity prices and bond yields. Just late last week, the 10-year government bond yield hit a high of 1.37%, reaching as high as 1.39%. This is double what it was six months ago, so this movement is massive. As of recording on Tuesday, the 10-year is at 1.37%. So why is this important? Well, the more we see the treasury rate go up, it means that people are expecting interest rates to go up due to higher inflation. And the reason for this is when price of a bond goes down, the yield goes up. So as the yield goes up, it means people are selling their bonds. People are selling their bonds because they're expecting future inflation and interest rates to be higher, so they are better to sell now and buy later. One main catalyst that has led to an increase in inflation fears is the stronger than expected retail sales data and producer price index readings that have come out in the last month. With this in mind, the core fear investors have is that a large federal stimulus, as done with the Biden administration, coupled with surging commodity prices we're seeing right now with oil, and rising government bond yields with the 10-year yield, all of this in conjunction could lead to a rise in inflation. And if that happens, central banks will be forced to raise their interest rates, which then in turn makes borrowing and funding new operations for businesses more expensive, and this all in turn leads to a contraction in business activities and therefore stock prices as well. And although that companies won't actually be affected until inflation goes up, which is likely to be sometime in the future, we're already starting to see the effects of investors pricing in this inflation already, which is lowering the stock prices. The second big contributor to a market correction is concerns of a market bubble. The big short investor, Michael Burry, warned over the weekend that rampant speculation and widespread betting by resale investors with borrowed money has driven, quote, the stock market to the brink of collapse. He said, quote, in a tweet, speculative stock Hashtag bubbles ultimately see the gamblers take on too much debt. And along with this, he posted an image of the S&P 500 index and the levels of margin debt associated with it, which have been soaring in recent months. And there's further evidence to back this up as well. The next 12 months price to earnings ratio of stocks has been far above historical averages in the last year. Currently, all sectors in the S&P 500, aside from healthcare, trade at double digit premiums to their 20 year average next 12 month PE ratios. In particular, the S&P 500 as a whole is currently trading close to 23 times its forward earnings, which is historically around 15 times only. On top of all of this, Morgan Stanley's chief investment officer wrote on a Monday note, quote, every asset class index that we follow is now in the top 5% of valuation for the last 20 years. Even the quote Buffett indicator, which is a ratio of total US stock market capitalization to GDP, now is at 147%, even much higher than the 127% it was at in 1999 prior to the dot-com bubble. So based on these factors, it definitely seems that the market is at a point where it is quite overvalued at the moment, so it's not surprising we're seeing some sort of healthy pullback. But the question is, will it be a healthy pullback or will it be a complete bubble collapse? That's what we'll have to wait and see. Another thing to be concerned about is the fact that margin debt right now is at an all-time high with investors borrowing in order to short stocks or buy stocks. And this is risky and could even cause some sort of domino effect because people are more likely to get wiped out of their positions when they're borrowing on margin because say if you've got five to one margin, the stock only has to go down 20% to wipe out your entire position. So investors need to be very wary about that. The last thing I'll touch on is that this could also be a market rotation. Currently, we're seeing a shift out of tech stocks and into industrial and retail stocks. Tesla, for instance, is down in the 600s. Bitcoin has fallen over 10% in the last 24 hours, dropping below 50,000. And meanwhile, oil prices are much higher. Brent and crude are both above $60. And in addition to that, hotel stocks and retail stocks like Cinemark are well up. The most important thing to remember in a situation like this is to be cautious. For many of you watching who are new investors, this may be the first time you've experienced a shaky market. Stocks don't always go up, there's always high risk in the market, and the surge in prices we've seen over the last 10 months have been historical and unsustainable. The most important thing to keep in mind is to lower your risk when there is volatility, so lower your leverage if you trade on it. In addition to this, I like to have cash on the side to sit on the sidelines and buy the dip. Currently I'm about 30% cash and 70% invested. Beyond this, I'll keep you all updated with further videos as this situation develops. In the meantime, keep an eye on the 10-year treasury note for a proxy for future inflation to stay in the loop. 
The aim of this channel is to find stocks that have great potential and provide concise analysis for you guys who don't have the time to go and do all the research and find these companies yourself. So if you're interested in staying in the loop, keep your finger on the pulse by subscribing and turning on notifications. Remember, this video is for entertainment purposes and not personalized investment advice. You should consider your own unique financial position and do your own due diligence before making any investments. See you next time.